everybody, it's Jimmy Perry here from powerlifting.website, your go-to resource for all beginning powerlifting information, and today I'm here to answer a question, which is, is it bad to powerlift if you have bad knees? But before I do that, don't forget to check out the Black Book of Powerlifting, check out our powerlifting belts and wrist straps on the website, as well as follow us on social, well, follow me on social media and the business on social media, the links to those, all of those things will be in the description, and... Let's get started. All right, so first off, uh, well, not really. Well, it can hurt, but it, there are ways to get around it. I personally, I've kind of trained myself along with like I've had mentors and like from I found on YouTube and stuff like that. My mentors, I mean, I've like I learned like how to squat from seeing people squat. That's how I learned. So YouTube and Google and all that stuff worked for me. And like, it did what I needed it to do in terms of like learning and things like that. But um. So yeah, but with that came a lot of trial and error, so I ended up hurting my knees a lot. I didn't know that I was supposed to be pushing my knees out and that they need to be stable and all of those things while I was squatting. So it took a little bit of uh, trial and error, but I figured it out. So that's why I feel co uh, qualified to talk about this. And also I got a bit of information from other people. Other people I felt were uh, qualified to speak on these things as well. Um, don't feel, uh, don't be intimidated by some of the jargon, the technical jargon nonsense stuff that's in these articles because uh, I try and like, make it simple because we're power lifters no one wants to think we want to lift weights and we want to do our stuff not saying that anyone's because a lot of pilots are incredibly intelligent it's just that why speak in these why use these huge terms if it's not necessary but um yeah so let's get started ways to progress if you harm your knees i'm basically going to skip over that first those first two sections because it doesn't make sense to speak on those but ways to progress if you still harm if you harm your knees um First thing, warm up those surrounding muscles because when you warm up those surrounding muscles, our muscles act as uh, are the protectors of our joints essentially. That's my understanding of it. I'm not a biochemical, ma biomechanical major or anything like that, or phys. I'm not inter. I'm, I'm interested in it, but I didn't go to school for it. But I do. I mean, obviously, I live weight, so I learn a bit of it on the on the job, so to speak. So. Muscles act like the the quads and our hamstrings. Well, hamstrings pull the. Uh, Basically, the muscles act to uh, protect the joints. So, if you warm those, if you don't warm those muscles up and get them activated, then you know they're not going to be able to fully serve their purpose. Um, and that's just that. I put in a few ways to do that, like to warm those muscles up, like the hips, uh, knees, hamstrings, uh, quads, or not knees, quads, uh, glutes, stuff like that. Like I put that in the article, so check that, or you can go to the article and check those things out. Like I didn't, I put movements in there. I'm because a few of them I put why you should do those movements. Um, make sure those thighs are powerful enough. Now, if there's an imbalance in terms of, like, outer and inner thigh, like the strength on either side, then, you know, there's going to be a little, a, lot, a bit of undue stress or unnecessary stress on the, the joint because those muscles aren't fully, aren't really doing their job. Like, if the inner thigh is uh, tight, now, this is new to me. I didn't know this. If the inner thigh is tight, then you, all that stress is going on the outer, like the quad, outer quad and all of that stuff. That, dude put like, dude I read this from, put like a lot of technical, technical like you put the names of the muscles in there. I didn't, I just put the outer quad. But there's going to be a lot of stress on that. <sighs> to avoid that, I'm sorry, it's only 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock, but I'm kind of tired. To avoid that, strengthen your inner thigh to make sure everything's balanced, make sure all that stress is being distributed evenly so that, it's not being placed on your like it doesn't eventually take or go on your knee or that knee joint use the leg press quite a bit the leg press allows us to do passive uh, knee flexion which the term was new to me but i understand what it is so essentially uh, i'm not going to explain that but i think uh, i'm not going to i should so essentially uh passive knee flexion is you don't you don't have to think about doing it it's like the the weights bend your knees for you and you don't have to lower like if that makes any sense that's my understanding of it whereas active is the opposite um and also you're able to go deeper leg press, which is really for myself because i had to use the leg press for a while but i got my form down correctly or form down so yeah and i noticed that i was able to go heavier on the leg press than i would on a, when i would on the regular squat uh use eccentrics well 
this was new and I thought this was interesting. Use eccentrics meaning like you can lower basically you can lower weight more weight than you can uh than you can press essentially or basically so if you if how am I how do I sum this up? Practicing lowering heavier weights uh, gets our muscles used to those loads, which will help us basically figure out how to not put all that stress on our knees. Essentially, like I put more of it in the article, but that's my sum. That's my summation. That's how I understand it. Uh, go back over your form. That's something I did. You know, just to take away all, get rid of all that butt wink and all that other nonsense, just so you don't hurt yourself. And that's pretty much it. Check out the uh, links I put in the article. Those are the resources. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content I'm putting out. And you'll hear from me next time. Peace.